Hello, my loves. Right, I've managed to get a quick one out for you today. It's a super blingy bauble now. So I'm using my flexi hand and I'm just popping in um, a practice tip that I got from Amazon. Oh, here comes the dog. Hello, my love. Just popping in a practice tip. We're going to clip off the end because I want a nice, cute ballerina style nail. Give it a wiggle. Make sure it's all in there nice. Beautiful. Right, now I have to remember, right, I'm using my Nailmate Bestie brush in a size 12. And I'm also using Valentino, and I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name. It's got a beautiful name, and it's such a beautiful powder. I will put it in the description box. It's either like Excite Me or Hidden Pleasure. It might be Hidden Pleasure, actually. I will check, because I've got two, and the names, I always get the two names muddled up, so... I'll put it in the description box. But it's a beautiful warm nude with gold flecks in it. It's really stunning. And I'm just going to apply this to the nail. So I've done my first bead approximately halfway down the nail. And I'll just work this bead down. My core system is nail mate, as always. And um, yeah, I'm literally just playing very gently with this. I find the Valentino powders work really, really well with the nail mate monomer, which is nice. And I've heard they work really well with CJP as well. So I'm going to pop my second bead on. Let it polymerise. And then we'll just work that into the first bead. Work it down the nail nice and gently. It doesn't really run away or go off anywhere with you. You just work with it. Pretty chilled. And then I'll do my third bead at the cuticle. So popping that third bead on at the cuticle and you'll see that I actually tip my brush upwards and gently nudge that product into place and then feather it into the previous bead, nice and gently. Now then, that's that bit done. I literally, I'm just gonna use my brush as this is setting to just make sure all my sides are in nice because it's, you know what it's like. You don't wanna lose that shape. If you lose the shape, you've got more filing to do. We don't want that. No one wants that, especially this time of year. So I'm gonna cap that nail in a minute. I'll just add a tiny little bead at the bottom there just to make sure it's opaque enough. It was like just a watery little bead. Couldn't resist tried to hold back but I just got taken over by the sparkle monster right now we'll cap with a bead of crystal clear whack it on there nice and gently tuck those sides in let the bead flow down the nail and then I'm going to lift my brush up to tuck it in and then walk that bead down the nail making sure that my apex is in place as well so leaving that small bulk of product at the cuticle not a huge bulk just enough and then we'll walk the rest of it down the nail. It's pretty simple, this part, ladies and gents. Pretty simple. And then, once I've done that, we're going to let this nail fully dry. And while it's drying, we're going to do some 3D. So here's the nail drying. Very interesting shot for you. I'm sure you all want to see that. Look at this. Ba-bam. I'll put the number of this. This is a Valentino colour. I'll put the number in the description box. It's the most Christmassy red. I absolutely adore it. So I'm using my, my Nailmate size 5 brush. I've picked up a bead. Now I'm showing you here whether you can tell if this bead's ready to use. Look at that. No, it's not. Because when you press in, it bounces back. So it's not quite ready yet. Wait a bit longer. And then start patting that bead out. Now, I don't use a wet brush. My brush is clean, but it's not dripping with monomer because all you're going to do is feed that bead even more and it will become sloppy. So I'm pressing it out and I'm going to start forming it into the shape of a diamond. And you'll see me do this a couple of times. So I'll shape it, press it, shape it, press it until I'm happy with what I've got. 
and I'll clean my brush off when I feel it gets sticky but I will not start moving things around I got rid of my fluffy towel uh, fluffy rug because it was getting in the way um, yeah I will not use a really wet brush because that will just completely flood this bead and it's a very very pigmented powder very very pigmented so as you can see I've formed the diamond and I've pressed it out again oh my brush was sticky so I'm gonna clean my brush then I'll come back to it then we'll reshape that diamond again and I do that a couple of times and then once I'm happy with this one I'll do the second one but I didn't film all of that because that would be boring for you. As if, as if by magic we have two diamonds. I've done them side by side so I can kind of make them roughly the same shape and same size. And then all that time I'm working on this one, the other one is setting up. So I'm going to clean my brush. So I'm sliding my wet brush underneath that bead, making sure it's lifting nicely. If it's too sticky, I won't bother. This was just about ready. Maybe a little bit on the sticky side. Milo, what are you doing? My dog's strange. And I'm going to fold it over, fold it in half and join the two corners together. Right. And we go, that makes one side of a bow, you see? And then I'm just using my brush to kind of shape it, form it, stick that edge down and also make little indentations in the bow area because they're not always perfect, like real bows. They have little indentations, don't they? And little flopsy bits. That's a real thing. Huh? So I'm just kind of putting a bit of an animated look in it. A little bit realistic. And then once the other side's ready, I'll do exactly the same to that. Just fold it over. See, it's very easy. Swooshing it side to side and then just fold it over. Sometimes the two corners won't want to stick together. You could just moisten it down with your brush. You could push your brush on it gently to release a bit of monomer, which will make the product sticky again. That tends to work for me. And then I'm gonna leave those to the side to set. So once they're folded over and I'm happy with them, I then leave them and just put them to the side where we crack on with the next bit. Me again, didn't get time to finish this voice thingy last night, so I'm doing it this morning, and I'm always snotty in the morning, so I apologise. Um, so, the tip has set. I am gonna file it using my nail mate file. Side wall, side wall, free edge, cuticle, all that malarkey. Get it all into shape, and I have a large swig of coffee. Mm. Yummy. Even though this is a practice tip on a practice hand, you still need to make it crisp because if you're gonna use the photograph for social media, you really don't want it. To. I've made this mistake so many times with just other things, like sometimes I'll get the wrong camera angle. Um, here's a prime example. I took a photograph of my work and a student's work the other day together, but the hand with my work on was tilting over, which made the nails look odd. And her other hand was flat, which made the nails look great. So when it came to showing it, it looked terrible on my hand. It was embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to get my spider gel. Little note, make sure your spider gel's being stored the right way, because mine fell over and spilt everywhere. And it's really bad to clean up. Anyway, once I have got it cleaned up, which took a while, I'm going to take my spider gel just to get a straight line. Um, now, it's cold in the salon and it really has affected a lot of my products negatively. If I could 
think about it and do it and have a big enough box I could bring all my gel related products in at night which I should probably be doing because they're not coping very well but it still kind of works it's just not as not as good as it is in the summer so I'm going to use that to just pull out a line it just makes it easier though getting a straight line and I'll fiddle around with it for a bit for a bit and then I'll take my other brush with a bit of isopropyl alcohol on it and I'll straighten up the line and fiddle with it a little bit more And then once I've fiddled with it enough, I will pop it in my lamp and let that cure. And then we've got our kind of beginning of the bauble nail. Now, I'm using these stunning crystals. I can't even tell you, they're so stunning. So I'm using my Angel Crystals Adhesive. And then I think this crystal is called a Pave Crystal, but I will check it and link it. It's some tiny Shrovskys put into like a uh I don't know I don't know what they've been put into it was like a stone but it's not a stone it's beautiful it's stunning it looks like a piece of jewelry like it's so pretty look this is it so this is lots of little Shrovsky crystals um placed into whatever they use to make a flat back kind of cluster which looks really nice like a bauble but it, it reminds me of like a jewellery, like a ring or something. Oh my God, have you seen Angel Crystal's new um, oh, lilac luster crystals? They colour shift. They they colour shift. You tilt them and they go from clear to, to lilac. It's stunning. Right, I'm now using white opal flat back round crystals. And I'm just going to do like a little uh, cuticle cuff with them And then I made a mistake on this, which I've included. So I thought it would look good one way and it didn't. So then I changed it. So I've got these white opals coming down, light dangly decorations. But I didn't do one of them long enough. So I'll show you what I've done. But um, and I'll show you how I fixed it. It's so easy, really it's so easy. So I pop that on, do the other side. Oh yeah, and then I'm going to use an AB Diamond flat back. These really catch the light, like super beautiful. And why does my morning voice sound rather manly? It's only 7am and I'm not even halfway through my first coffee. But I realised that it's been a couple of days extra since I've posted and I'm eager to get a video out, so. I gotta do this stuff, I gotta do it. Oh, sorry, I've got, I have... Does anyone else have morning sniffles? I get them really bad. It's probably because of my animals. Right, there we go. And then I decided, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. When I hold the bow up, it completely covers that crystal. Mm, we got a problem. So, oh yeah, excuse my nails. I haven't had a good set of nails since September. I've just been testing other people's products. and I'm not happy about that, to be fair. So I'm doing my nails this weekend because it's my birthday. Right, we're going to extend this all the way down the nail. Just extend it down. It's look, looked better longer anyway because 
these decorations are never symmetrical. They always have long bits of sort of, oh my goodness me. That yawn caught me off guard, short bits. Do you know what I mean? I freaking love this now. I love it so much. So get that going. Whack the diamond on the bottom. Where is it? I dropped it. Can you imagine dropping a tiny little crystal in that fluffy rug? It's a nightmare. Sometimes I shake the rug at the end of the day and crystals fall out. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know they were there. There we go. Now we're gonna let that set in place a second. Let all that glue dry before top coating. Our glue is dry. I'm gonna get a top coat and a detailer brush. I'm using uh, super gloss. That's a thing then. And the reason I'm top coating now is because once that bow is on, number one, I won't be able to bloody get to anything. And I'm certainly not going to put a gloss top coat on the bow because I don't believe it will look very pretty. So, Look how gorgeous that acrylic is. Mm, it's sexual. No wonder their uh, names are a little bit racy. Because uh, it's a sexual colour. This is painstaking. But... You, you have to just be careful because if you mess up and get your top coat over the crystals, you will instantly lose that beautiful faceted shine that you get. Because you'll cover up all the all the divots, won't you? You'll cover up all the facets and you'll end up with what looks like a sucky sweet that you've just stuck on a nail, which is not very pretty. It's not pretty, honey. It's not a good look. Oh my God. Who's got their Christmas tree up, by the way? Mine's going up this weekend. Oh, sorry. I have to remember not to sniff and just let it drip down my face while I'm doing a voiceover. Mmm, delightful. Oh, see, I got it on top of the crystal there and I instantly wiped it off and panicked. Okay, that's done. That's cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. <clears throat> now we're going to apply a beautiful bow. Then also I added some crystal pixie um in cute mood so i'm gonna pop down a bead of that lovely red acrylic from valentino it's freaking stunning i love that color so much oh my god it's so pretty And then we'll just add the other side. Oh, and then we'll drop the other side. That's a very important part of the process. Don't think I've ever done a bow like this before. I've probably played with the, the idea, but I don't think I've ever done a nail design with one. I'll have to look back. Um, sorry, I sniffed. Then we're gonna put one last bead down, make it a dry bead, and pop that where the two join. Some people make like a, a little line of acrylic and put that over, but I just got a dry bead and folded it over just a bit easier. And it looked a bit more poofy, like the um, centre centre part had some um, <coughs> volume to it. You see where I've creased in the bows as well? I really like that effect. Now I'm adding an individual tiny petite Shrovsky crystal from my Crystal Pixie. I literally picked a tiny weeny crystal out of it and got rid of that little bally bit because I didn't want it. So that is a teeny weeny crystal from my Crystal Pixie and I just thought it finished it off. Then I'll top coat my bow with matte top coat and cure that. I'm, I just love this nail so much. I love it so much. Guess what guys? Guess what? I'm going to film my nails and they're going to be really long. Yes, I'm going to film my nails. Oh dear, excuse me. They're not my Christmas nails. They're just beautiful nails, hopefully, if they turn out the way I've sketched them. 
uh, I'll show you the finished dough. Here you go. I do hope you've liked this. If you have, then comment below, let me know, like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Tally bye.